Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I am going to take a look at the production copy of Lock and Load Tactical Solo. You may have seen my earlier video where I opened a copy of a, uh, a preview version that was, uh, that was uh, uh, printed on demand by Lock and Load Publishing, but this is the actual shrink-wrapped real thing. just came in with a whole bunch of uh, goodies from Lock and Load, and we'll be going through those here over the next few videos. But uh, wanted to hit this one first, see how it turned out, because this will play with the existing Lock and Load games you got, as long as as well as the new versions. So, without further ado, let's get right into this and see how it comes out. Get the knife open. I'm looking forward to this one. I played. You may have seen the demo. I played. Uh, a few turns with the uh, with the system. It's pretty good. Uh, good implementation and adaptation of the uh, conflict. Uh, excuse me, the combat. I had it right the first time. Conflict of Heroes uh, solar system um, has been adapted to the Lock and tactical system and can be used with um, modern or the. Pre-modern. I don't want to say just World War II because I got some other stuff in there too. But uh, all right, so you got the you got the box. Um, now this box is you know just for the solo. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the Heroes uh, series, the Lock and Load Tactical games. The, the the I don't want to say just the first edition because uh, they were the second maybe editions first printing from lock and load um and the new ones have come out um with much bigger boxes that are probably about twice the size of this thickness -wise. so uh, this is huge those are huge um but this is definitely bigger than the other um the other boxes were so anyway more of a standard size box all right let's see what gets going here at the card of the game here is the deck of cards. These are the uh, AEO cards. Uh, AEO is the um, uh, is the shorthand for the AI. Um, and I'm feeling like a total doofus here because I remember what it is. And right now I have to look it up. But the AEO is is what you'll refer to instead of just AI. Um, all right, so the cards are the large size. Unfortunately, they they share the same size as tarot cards, which I'm not a fan of, but uh, that's the size you're going to get. They are uh, somewhat thin. You're definitely going to want to sleeve them because you will shuffle them a lot. All right, so they are numbered 1 through 55 on the cards, and then you get a couple of keys that tell you a uh, little shorthand as to what um, the actions on the cards are going to be. Um, they're big, big print, color-coded, uh, move, fire. They'll tell you what chart you're going to go to. We'll get the charts in a minute. Um, there are cards for attack. There are cards for defense. And the green shield, the attack cards. Looks like they sword them, maybe, so all the... Defense cards are together. Then you get cards that neither have neither attack nor defense. Those are always in either side. So if the AI is on the defense, they'll use the defense cards. If they're the attacker, they'll use the attack cards. That kind of thing. Um, and then they'll always get the general use cards. And then you got cards here that uh, can trigger an event. So if you draw this card, you will um, you will uh, trigger an event. You'll check to see if an event happens um, prior to. Uh, resolving the card, uh, so you would roll 12 plus, and uh, an event would happen. And there's an event chart in here as well. You can use if you want. Um, uh, the cards have die uh, indicators on them. I don't know how they distributed them, since there are 55 cards, and that's not divisible by six. So. I don't know how the division of that works up, but maybe it's divisible by the actual number of cards you're going to end up with in an attack deck versus a defense deck. Um, totally they thought that through. I never did any math on because I'm just going to roll dice. Uh, but you can draw cards and say, okay, I got a five and a four kind of thing you want to. So, uh, so they're pretty nice. You're definitely going to want to order sleeves. Since there's 55, I think uh, this size sleeve 
um, uh, which is two and a half by four and a half. I believe it said no two two and three quarter by four and three quarter. So if you order sleeves, you're going to need at least a hundred of them to cover the fifty five cards that come in the game. Then you got your manual, and in the tradition of the current lock and load printings, very nice uh, uh, glossy stock. Um, it's a little bit better laid out than the last one I had. Has samples, definitely has a walkthrough, takes you through the turn, shows you how to resolve uh, the different uh, cards and stuff um, that are drawn, you know, um, given the scenario and how you'd analyze the card and come to the result. So that's cool. Right. So, rules before you get to the example page is going to be. Before you get to the walkthrough, the walkthrough starts on page 14, so 13 is optional rules. So it's going to take you through um, pretty much how to use the cards, what they work for. And let's see if I remember. Artificial enemy opponent. That's what the AEO is. I knew it and I forgot. So you get some charts. There were five or six, I believe. Let's go through those here. Um, you get your, uh, most of these are double sided, this one is, uh, single sided, this is your, uh, fire behavior, uh, flow chart, they get a fire action, or combined fire action, multiple units, this is the flow chart you'll work through based on the, uh, situation, then we have the counter action chart, so this is if the AI, the AEO is on the offensive, you'll use this side. And if the AEO is on the defensive, you'll use this side. So you'll have all the defensive charts stacked together, and you'll look through those as you need them. Um, okay. You may have seen in my playthrough video um, where I thought these were a little large and needed to be maybe reduced to the size, and I did that actually. Uh, I reduced them to this size, and so I can get all the all the charts onto one page, uh, and then you can always refer to these. So that may be something you want to do is scan these and, uh, and put them in, uh, print them out yourself. Okay, so we got you get a uh, uh, victory conditions, and that vic victory conditions execute victory conditions is an option on the AEO card. So this little chart you refer to, and then. These are out of order, so we'll just set this to the side because you've got your opportunity fire, close assault defensive posture. Okay, if they're defensive, use that side. If they're offensive, use that side. And then finally, the movement. If they're defensive, versus offensive. And obviously, if they're on the offense, they're going to move a lot more than. If you're on the defense, there's not as many actions to choose from. All right, so the ones we passed aside here, and these are these are both double-sided, as you saw. So it's four double-sided, and then one that is single-sided applies to both scenarios. And this is uh, an order example, kind of a guideline flowchart to how you uh, uh, would execute this order. And then this is the movement stances table. Uh, which will tell you how the different like uh, vehicles off board. Uh, so the vehicle at scenario start, vehicles in battle, what they'll do basically to kind of help you figure out the order. And then the uh, random events table, which is an option you can add um, should you choose to. Um, so if you um, draw a die. Uh, you draw a card that has a uh, grenade on it, and then you meet the roll criteria to trigger the event. Then you roll two dice. Um, you know, the, the the one die one, one die would be the the first column, and only the second. So you got one one through one six, two one through two six, etc. And so that gives you your different events that can happen. Uh, there's also the option to add weather and weather effects to the battle. 
So a lot of versatility in this. Uh, watch the playthrough video I did. I'm sure more of these. Is, uh, this is uh, released. You get more uh, playthrough videos coming out um, showing how it works, just like we did with uh, Conflict of Heroes. But if you're interested in the Lock and Load Tactical Solo, what you're going to get, obviously, is several charts, uh, flow charts, and uh, player aid charts. The 1.0 manual, we'll call it. A uh, deck of 55 large size cards for the uh, AEO, Artificial Enemy Impo Opponent. Two reference cards, you got a total of 57 cards, you mostly those two. And that is what you get inside of the retail copy of Lock and Load Tactical Solo. There you go. Pick up a copy and start playing by yourself with Lock and Load Tactical. Thanks for watching. God bless you.